Coordination, the linking system, part 3. In this part, we are going to learn about an activity regarding knee-jerk reflex and the concept of reflex arc. Let's get started. So, activity number 3. It is about knee-jerk reflex. Observe this picture, students. A girl is in sitting position with her legs hanging down. Doctor is striking below her kneecap with his right hand. His left hand is firmly grasping the leg. When stuck, she suddenly feels a jerk and tries to raise up her leg. But she cannot do this because doctor is firmly grasping her leg. So, we notice contraction in the leg muscles. That is, the doctor notices contraction in the leg muscles. However, best she tries, she cannot avoid this contraction. She cannot prevent this response. Such responses which occur without her knowledge are called as involuntary responses. So, responses that occur without our will and wish are called as involuntary responses. Here in this activity, the involuntary contraction of leg muscle when stuck at the point of knee is what is called as knee jerk reflex. So, knee digger hit chase na padu, leg low che a contraction ne, involuntary contraction ne, amantar ente knee jerk reflex antaru. Got it? Now, look at this picture. We find a girl kicking a ball in the playground. This is an example of a voluntary response because the girl knows in which direction she has to send the ball to make her team win the match. So, she makes conscious effort to send the ball in that direction. Such responses which occur under conscious control are called as voluntary responses. So, the responses which occur consciously are voluntary responses and that occur without her conscious effort are called as involuntary responses. Got it? So this is about activity number 3. Now let us consolidate our understanding. What is the difference between involuntary responses and voluntary responses? Involuntary responses, they occur all of a sudden without our knowledge. We have no conscious control over them. Why we have no conscious control? Because the pathways don't extend up to brain. They occur inside spinal cord. Because they don't go up to brain, they are short pathways. Now pathways involved are very short because they don't go up to brain. As they are not going to brain, we are not aware of them. And as they are not going to the brain, they are very small and they end up in spinal cord. Got it? So this is about involuntary responses. Now voluntary are reverse of that. They occur under our conscious control. The pathways are now, they extend up to brain. So the pathways are very long. Understood? So these are the differences between voluntary and involuntary responses. Now let us come to the reflex arc. Let us understand this picture first. We find in this picture three legs. The first leg is at A. It is the right leg. It is about to strike a sharp stone. After striking, the leg immediately raises up. Second leg shows the raised position of that right leg. Next third leg is the left leg. It presses against the ground so firmly that the person does not fall down during this time. That is, it balances the body during this time when the first leg raises up. We call the first leg as this leg. First leg as a detector. It detects the sharp stone. This sharp stone is the stimulus. For this stimulus, two movements occurred as responses. That is, the first leg raises up, this leg raises up and the left leg presses against the ground to balance the body. Here, this pathway, this total pathway is completed within spinal cord. Such short pathways which occur within spinal cord are called as reflex arcs. It is shown in the picture as pathway A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. This whole pathway is divided into three portions. The first portion is A, B, C, D. This is sensory pathway. 
द पाथवे ई एफ जी एच आई इज एफेक्टर पाथवे और मोटर पाथवे द न्यूरोन्स लाइंग बिटवीन डी एंड ई आर कॉल्ड एज एसोसिएशन न्यूरोन्स These neurons process the information reaching from sensory pathway that is A B C D and generate responses and send commands through motor pathway that is E F G H I. So, uh, in this pathway, the sensory uh, part is at the uh, dorsal side and uh, the motor part is at the ventral side of the spinal cord. So now, what is the definition of reflex arc? Reflex arc is nothing but a single pathway going up to spinal cord from detectors and ret and then returning to effectors. So um, in our picture, the our reflex arc is A B C D E F G H I I. This is a reflex arc. Detector is at A. Oh, uh, what is at A? It is at right leg which is hitting the object and effector muscle is at i so what is our effector muscle here it is the right leg which is contracting and lifting back okay so a is the detector and i is the uh, effector the pathway that runs between a and i is what is called as reflex arc In simple words, we can say that the nerve pathway that is involved in reflex action is what is called as reflex arc. So, reflex action lo involved in a nerve pathway ne amanta ante reflex arc under. So, reflex action ante sudden involuntary action which occurs in spinal cord, and the pathway involved in reflex action is what is called as reflex arc. Now there are few questions asked under this concept in the textbook. Let us answer them. Question number one is: What other effectors would act under these circumstances? They are simply asking few more examples of effectors in reflex action. So reflex action lo vache uh, effectors even ko ne example se mantu naru. Simply we can write hands when fingers touch hot objects because when we touch hot objects we we take back our hands involuntarily. So hands are effectors here. Then closing eyes when bright light falls on eyes. Then sneezing when something enters into our nose. Coughing when dust is inhaled. So these are the uh, examples of effectors in reflex action. Now question number two. What does this tell about the association nerves? Association of nerves. It is not association of nerves. It is association nerves. So association nerves connect sensory nerves with motor nerves. That is what we have seen. So here are the association nerves. They are connecting sensory nerves with the motor nerves. They process information received from sensory neurons and generate response, send commands to the effectors via motor nerves. That is what is given here. So we have answered both the questions, and this finishes reflex arc. So in this video we have covered reflex arc and knee jerk reflex thank you